Hi guys, this is your boy Martin from martintheblogger.com slash shop and today, today we will talk everything about dampers. So popular upgrade and ever since I have made a video, installation video about uh, damper on the Lemma and we have damper on the, on the Dakar. So ever since I have made it, so many questions came in such as, is it a good upgrade? Martin, in case I have to decide between sway bar and a damper, on my Riker, which one I should go with. Three, what is the difference between stock damper and a racing damper? And, you know, is it really worth what it's really physical difference between sway bars and dampers? And uh, what problems does it solve? So all of this in today's video, plus I have promised you in my installation video that I will tell you my honest review. I don't care that I'm selling these on my shop, I will tell you honestly what they will bring you. And this upgrade, it's such a good upgrade that it's not for everyone. What? Shocking, I know. So guys, a lot of talking today. Make yourself a coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy. And enough of this crap, let's get started. Oh, some tips and tricks and what's new from Rikomat. Now, let's get started. First thing what we should do, I think it's to tell you what this upgrade helps you with, what it solves, how it uh, helps the Riker. And then I will try to, I will, I will try to say like how it is possible. All right. So how it works. So what it solves. Now imagine like you're riding your Riker and there is a pothole or there is a, that metal lid on the road. What, what happens? You go through it and there is a shakiness. Then is that vibration. Well, with this upgrade, there is no more of that. So when you're going through the pothole normally, what your rides will do, they will go like this, correct? Or imagine you have, and we have them plenty here in Europe. You have that rails on the road. I call them rails. Uh, they are from heavy trucks and you go through them and your bike just try to get you from one side to another, right? Because of the nature of the three-wheeler. Well, with this kit, I'm not saying it's not happening, but it's happening much, much, much less. There is no vibration, almost no vibration going through your head. Hence, go, when you're going through those bumps or errors on the road, lids, whatever. And there is no shakiness. So how is this possible? Well, it's possible because the, the solution consists out of basically two things. One, smart idea, and two, the damper itself. So smart idea is from Riker, Mod. Like they, have been, they have created um, these brackets that one of them, it's connected to your moving part. So really like a uh, steering bar. And the other one, it's connected to the you know, stationary crossbar on the bike. Now in the mid, in between, there is this damper. Uh, Riker Mod is using Oholins or something that is called Universal. I'm using YSS and I will tell you the differences uh, shortly. So how it works? Well, basically this is a hydraulic item that use some, you will need to use some extra force in order to move it around, okay? One thing, it's connected to your steering bar. The other one, it's connected to the non-moving part. And in order to move it, because it always moves, you need to use some pressure. And that's the way how you can el eliminate some kind of movement that they are not needed, not necessary, that we don't like on Rikers. Is it clear? Still, the question can be like, how much it can eliminate the vibration, the shakiness, how good it is. And I cannot speak in general. I can speak only with uh, the YSS dampers that I have tested, but I'm pretty sure the Universal and even Oholins, of course, Oholins will be even better. We will get there. So how good it is. And by the way, all of these, these two bikes are from my tour and rental agency. I have two more inside so in case you are in bratislava slovakia vienna austria 
Prague, Czech Republic or Budapest, Hungary, you are in this area, you can come to my place, tourzone3.com, and I will make you a tour of your lifetime on the Rikers that are most probably better compared to one that you have at home. Anyway, so to the point, how good it is? Well, when you ride on the street, did, did you, do you look into your mirrors? Do you remember that they are shaky, like really shaky? Sometimes they are more, depends on what RPM you are at, but sometimes they are more shaky, sometimes they are less. If I have a tour, sometimes I don't see who is really behind me, which one of those other three Rikers. With this upgrade, it's super clear. Like no more shaky mirrors. That's how good the upgrade is. That's how much it removes the vibration and the shakiness from your handlebars. What is really better? Is it the sway bar or a damper? Or if you have to choose and you cannot buy both, would I recommend to go for the damper or sway bar? And how they work? Well, I will tell it to you this way. As I said, this is Tour and Rental Agency and I have aftermarket Wilbur's rear shock on my bikes because the stock one, even on the rally version, it's, it's not good. I have custom uh, springs on my shark in front from H&R. I have sway bars. I have Baharon sway bar. I have the H&R sway bar. And now I'm gonna have even dampers. Is that the answer? Because I'm not trying to sell you something. Well, technically, hypothetically, I'm trying to, but if I'm having a rental agency and I'm throwing all of this money on my bikes that somebody else will come and ride, I really have to believe in those upgrades. And I have throwing the same things on every single bike, so it's a lot of money. So again, is that the answer? Nope. It's just me telling you how badass bikes I have. But if I really have to choose between the sway bar on the Riker and the damper, I will go with the damper. That's how good upgrade it is. Sway bars in general, I have made a lot of videos, especially on, uh, on F3s and RTs. I don't know why I'm not technician, but sway bars and changing the sway bars on spiders, it's much more noticeable than changing them on Rikers. Don't ask me why, because maybe because it is that the F3, Spider F3, you can ride more hardcore through those corners than a Riker. Riker, it's so much stepping in, even in a rally or sport mode, that you know you cannot really get the maximum out of many upgrades. Dampers, they are game changer, all right? And one more thing to the sway bars. Few people have told, has told me that they have changed the links only and they are feeling super different. I'll just tell it to you that cut the crap. With all respect, unless you are the most skilled dude, unless you have ridden your Riker for 100,000 kilometers without plastic links and then you are changing them only to aluminum, only the links without the sway bar, I doubt you can notice anything. It's just not possible, period. So again, sway bar or damper, both, but if I have to choose, damper it is. Now, have you been listening when I said uh, this upgrade is not for everyone? And no matter what, even though I'm selling them, I'm always honest. And have you been uh, listening to me when I said like all of my four Rikers are having always the same upgrades? Well, I was lying a little bit. And here's the, the reason why. Have you been listening <laughs> how this thing works? Uh, that you need to use some force, some pressure in order to move this around. And that's the that's the thing where 
the, the saying or where, where my story about that it's not for everyone comes. Uh, in order to move that dampener that eliminates the shakiness, that eliminates, you know, that wobbling, you need to use extra force. Extra force to move around your handlebars. And that is the reason why from the beginning I will use it only on two bikes, on Le Mans, and I will use the sport version of YSS, and on Dakar, where I will use the stock version of YSS. And I'm having few lady customers coming in that are not so robust as I am, well-sized dude. And I would like to see how they will be able to cope up with, uh, not the shakiness, it will be not there, but I would like to see how, how easy it will be for them to move around the handlebars because it is slightly noticeable that it's not at as easy as it was before the upgrade it's nothing dramatical especially when you have this click system that i will get into uh, in a few moments uh, but it's there and before i will throw it on every single bike i would like to get the the feeling from my customers, my guests. Now the experience from customers that they already bought this YSS kit with the steering dampener uh, mounting bracket. Um, this YSS kit comes with 30 clicks, all right? So basically what it does is if you are on an absolute minimum, uh, and that's how I always start on my bike when I'm, I have installed two, but uh, it's the easiest restriction or easiest amount or the most less power that you need to use uh, in order to move this hydraulics thing around. If you go to the maximum, uh, very quickly, very quickly, very quickly, I can really barely move it. Now, the experience is I'm using position two, so two clicks from the lowest possible position, because that's the minimum what YSS recommends. There are many customers that are using it the same way. I have customers that are using it between four and six clicks. The most that they went was 15, as far as what I have heard. Nobody goes beyond that because it's just too much. And then the steering, it's super stiff. You can barely uh, really move the steering wheel. Now, why YSS? And what is the difference between universal uh, damper and most probably Ohlins? And why I will never say never, but most probably I'll never go with Ohlins. So uh, YSS, uh, why I'm using YSS is because the owner now who has created the brand YSS comes from Wilbur's and I love Wilbur's. Wilbur's is the, for me, the best manufacturer for shocks it's better than elka that you guys love in the us uh, and he actually was the ceo of wilbur's and he moved all of the ideas and he moved also the things that he didn't like and he created his, his own company all right yss is a great company with production in thailand but it brings the cost down so it's a german company with a production or manufacturing plant in Thailand. That's the reason why YSS is very, very good because of the story of the Wilbur's. Now, why not Ohlins? All of these dampers are mostly built for single lane motorcycles and just Richard from Rikoma has come up with an idea that it would be great to have it on, on three wheeler bike as well. Uh, so Ohlins will work the very same way as the YSS. Ohlins has great name, but ridiculously, ridiculously expensive price tag to it. For me, I don't believe you will find a difference between YSS on the Riker, using it on the Riker with Ohlins. Maybe where you will find the difference is when you will have a single lane motorbike and you will be on a circuit, on a race circuit, and you will do the lap times, maybe you will find, well, most probably you will find the difference. In normal traffic, I doubt. Now, 
Again, I told you my honest story. I will just mount it for the moment on two bikes. I love the upgrade. If it's just me, it will be on, if it's just me riding on all four Rikers, I will have it there, all right? But I need to find out what my guests from tour, for Tour and Rental Agency will say. Racing and non-racing. Hey, I'm honest. Again, it's about racetrack. I mean, some people like the feeling, okay, I have something racy. This is just a few grams lighter. And I think it's just a matter of something, you know, I was just weighting it in the box. So I think that is the problem with the box. So there is no difference in the weight. I doubt there is a difference in, in like really production. And I doubt there is a difference in, in set. They, they said that you will feel the difference on a race circuit when you are chasing the lap times. So is it really worth to spend 50 euros extra or 45 or whatever is the difference? Eh, it's about the feeling. So I have it on Lima, I have it on Dakar. Now, uh, I said about Ohlins and uh, what is the universal uh, damper? I'm just not sure that the universal damper that the Riker mod is using has the click system. Not sure about it. I don't want to be lying to you. Double check. For me, if, if the damper doesn't have the click system, it's a little bit of the downside because you can very easily set it up and adjust it to your need. So for me, the damper needs to have the click system. Now, last two things. One tip, maybe, and uh, one update. So the update is that Richard from Riker Mod wrote me yesterday that there is also kit available and it's a little bit different bracket kit than this one for the, those of you that has installed Turbo. So for those that has installed Turbo, you will need to move or you have already moved your horn and it will be on, on this bar mounted. It's available on RikerMod.com. It's not yet available on my shop because we do not have that many Turbos around here. I personally don't believe in turbo. I believe in turbo. I don't. I just don't think you should put the turbo on the tiny little Riker. You're just making it die. Anyway, it's a different story. Now, um, one tip: in case this is super strong for you, even in the setup when you will use the YSS, I didn't test it yet. It's just physics, all right? In case you will move this bracket closer to your um, steering bar, you will make this less powerful. So let's say finger closer to it, it will be less and less powerful. The smaller the distance between uh, the steering bar and this uh, crossbar, the less powerful the damper is. Of course, in my installation video, uh, there are a few tips and tricks and there is uh, the exact position where you should mount it. Guys, this is pretty much it from today's episode. In case you want one, Rikama in US. I ship worldwide, but mostly I'm focusing on European customers, Asia, New Zealand, and Australia. Now, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, have the notifications on, and buy yourself a damper or not. It's your call. But most importantly, most importantly, remember, visit tourson3.com and always have fun.